Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about pronation and I'm going to give you five key exercises in order to help you with this. What is pronation? Why is it so important? So pronation is a vital part in the serve mechanics, making sure that your arm is relaxed to be able to turn the hand out. This is not possible with a forehand grip because as you can see, my strings will be facing to the ball rather than the edge of my racket coming to the ball before turning. I'm going to show you a little exercise to give you that feeling of what it's like when pronating. One of the most important keys, if not the most important, is to be relaxed when holding the racket. This is making sure that your index finger or the trigger figure is going to be a little bit higher than the rest of your fingers. This prevents you from gripping the racket so tightly. So if you have that nice relaxed hand, as you can see, can you see how my racket just relaxes, flows, spins? That's relaxed. Tense would be so as you can see, if you were to hammer down, you're not really gonna generate the full natural flow and power. So relaxed hand, nice and calm. So pronation is not just the wrist. As you can see, if my wrist is turning in and out just like so, I'm gonna get minimal movement. But what you want to imagine is that it's the full forearm and arm moving in one motion. As you can see, my palm is facing towards my head and then it turns out to be facing out to the side. So what I want you to imagine is that if you are flicking water off your hands, if you were to flick the water off your hands just like this, the water would come off very slowly. If you were to flick the ball like this, can you see? Then the water is going to flick off a little bit faster. There's a little funny little thing that you can do where you flick the hand and can you hear that? my index finger is nice and relaxed and it's actually hitting my middle finger. So if you can practice that, you're going to order to give you a little bit more relaxed hand to give you that pronation. Another thing to help you with that pronation is by imagining that if your hand is relaxing just out in front, that is how your hand will turn when pronating. As you can see, if I have a hammer grip, continental grip, as you can see like so, this is exactly the same what you would want to do with pronation. Pronation does not want to look flat out to the ball. You want to look with the side of your edge of your racket and that is where it looks natural most. So the first exercise that I'm going to help you with pronation is by choking up the racket just a little bit higher on the throat and this is going to be the hammer position. This gives you a little bit of stability over the racket head. What you want to imagine is that you're bouncing the ball downwards into the ground and relaxing your hand. As you can see, edge of the racket, strings facing down, it looked like so. Edge of the racket, bouncing down into the ground. The bounce downs are key in order for you to be able to reach up and then relax the hand at that point of contact so that you are nice and loose when hitting the ball downwards, like this. And as you can see, I'm also finishing with that nice high elbow. The second exercise is I want you to toss the ball up into the air and then once you've caught the ball, relax with your hand and as you can see my hand is edging outwards towards the side of the court so i'm going to do one toss with the ball catch and relax and as you can see my hand is turning outwards if i were to have a racket in my hand and do the exact same motion where are my strings facing out to the side so it's like you're high-fiving your partner next to you if you were to serve high five to the side Another way to practice this exercise is by kneeling. And what you want to imagine is that when you're reaching up to make contact with the ball, as you can see, my elbow is nice and high and my strings are facing towards the camera. And it's like as my racket was to touch the floor, this is how my end product of my pronation wants to finish. Just like so. Relax to finish. Relax to finish. So I want you to notice carefully where my racket is facing from the edge so then when I'm pronating, then it's going to finish outwards. The third exercise, you're going to be actually facing the reverse way around. What you're going to be imagining is that you're going to start with a hammer, like you're chopping on a piece of wood, and then you're going to relax the hand at the last second. So as you can see, the strings are making contact with the ball. So what I want you to imagine is the edge coming down onto the ball, turning out with the strings. Edge, strings. So if I'm facing forwards, exactly the same edge of the racket, relaxed. That's the key thing here, just being relaxed, right? And relax relaxation with your hand is making sure you're not squeezing too tightly. You wanna imagine that you've got the trigger finger a little bit higher, fingers spread out. You're not trying to squeeze the racket as tightly as you can, because if you squeeze it, you're never gonna be able to turn your hand outwards. So relax, hit. Relaxed to hit. 
hope that helps. The fourth exercise is going to be imagining how you want to get that edge of the racket to the ball prior to contact. And some people even allow that racket to hit from the reverse side before then turning the hand out. This is another way to prevent the weighted tray, but for now we're going to be working with the edge of your racket. So what you're going to do is you're going to start in the half serve position or your normal serve position. You're going to toss the ball up and the ball is going to hit the edge of your racket. The fifth and final exercise is going to be the edge to the ball strings to the ball and what you want to try to promote here is as your racket is coming up to the ball you're going to relax so that the edge of the racket can come up to the ball and at the last second you're able to turn your strings out so the first exercise is full flow edge of the racket second strings and as you can see you can also stop at, at contact as well this helps you to provide you with that little feeling of what is it's like when you are relaxed here or you're tense here so relaxed edge relaxed strings so i'm going to take you through a few serves now where i'm going to start with my edge of the racket coming to the ball and then lightly relaxing my hand and as you can see my strings are turning out so edge of the ball relax to turn out edge of the ball relax turned out this is also known as the infinity or the natural eight motion so the figure of eight hit return back to the neutral position edge of the racket relax back to the neutral position last but not least what better way to show you pronation than by hitting a few serves if you enjoyed these five exercises on pronation please leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe too thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video